Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's another beautiful day here in South Mississippi. And we are in the Camaro SS 1LE. And I had to go to town today and pick up a few things. I'm on PTO all this week. It's Monday. Hope y'all are having a great day. Um, on the way back from town, like I said, getting back in the woods here in my favorite place. And uh, I think I want to call this segment Camaro Chats. And maybe this can be a new thing on the channel. Y'all know I'm not afraid to speak my mind. If you've actually watched to the end of some of my Sunday Gunday videos, I have an opinion, uh, and I'm not afraid to say it. And, you know, the world's gotten pretty ridiculous, and there's plenty of topics we can talk about, and I'll give you my opinion, and you can leave me a comment and give me yours. And if you like what's going on here, go ahead and hit the like button and hit the subscribe button, notification bell, all that garbage. I hate to even say that. It's pretty ridiculous having to say that, but... I'm going to do it. So I want more subscribers, so please hit the button. Thank you. Uh, but we're on the way back home, and the topic I have for today is something that, that always strikes me. Y'all know I also have a sport bike, uh, the Honda, and I love to ride. I've been waiting my whole life to ride, literally. I, since the first time I saw a sport bike when I was you know, four or five years old, way down here in the south back then, there weren't that many of them so it was a rare thing to see but I have been enamored with sport bikes and riding my whole life and sports cars it's been my passion since I can remember uh, when my parents got divorced and my dad first got cable in the next town over when I went to his house and I found Isle of Man TT I found uh, it was the American Le Mans series back then and, and Corvette and racing and it is just it's been a passion for me ever since. And Formula One, the V10 era of Formula One with Schumacher and Raikkonen and all those guys. It was an amazing thing to see. And I love this stuff. But the question I have is, why can't you people stay in your lane? I don't understand it. Like every time on the weekend I get out of my car or on my bike, some idiot on one of these two lane back roads with no runoff, no nothing. There's the ditch or the woods. You're in the middle of the road going around a blind corner. Are you stupid? Like, how stupid are you? I, I really don't understand. I hate to get on a rant like this, but damn, it's amazing the stupidity. is like, are you on your phone? Are you just retarded and you don't understand that there's other people on the road? that are also trying to live their life without getting killed by you like there are other people people live out here i know there's a lot of places i see where y'all are carving up the mountains and the canyons and places and there's there's no housing there's no people that live there but here where i live on these back roads people are sparse but there are people they're out living their life they're out driving their car they don't want to get hit by you because you're stupid i don't understand i, I really don't self-absorbed do you not understand vehicle dynamics and know that when two cars are approaching each other their speeds added together is the real reaction speed that you need to have so if we're both going 50 that's 100 mile an hour reaction speed you don't have it and probably because you got your phone in your hand and you're not even looking at the road you need to make better life decisions than that when you're driving a three or four thousand pound steel box that's a dangerous weapon and you look down going 50 miles an hour and you've traveled a long way by the time you look back up in a second or two do the math on it type in google or whatever search engine you know the rates of speed and then how, how many feet you move in that amount of time and you're going to be amazed because your reaction time isn't fast enough we're all guilty of being distracted on the road and trying to grab some on the floor or looking at the phone this or that, but it is extraordinarily dangerous. I crashed my first bike, y'all never saw it, but I had a, a 2012 CBR 1000. <clears throat> bought it in May for my birthday, my birthday's in May. I bought it for myself, it was used uh, in 2018. By August of 2018, had a wreck five miles from my house on the back road. I was cruising on my way home after a good ride going to eat lunch with my mother and my aunt over at her house and got hit by somebody that was three quarters away in my lane. Now luckily, or unluckily, I don't know, I, I 
I hit the brake and it locked the front because I had too much lean angle and uh, too much brake pressure. And uh, I had a big, a big head shake and pitched me off. Well, they hit the bike. The bike never left my lane. They hit the bike in my lane and I slid past them. And I thank God because I, I made it. I've got neck pain, shoulder pain, hip pain. That's uh, never going to get 100% better, but I'm okay with that. I lived, I lived to ride another day, and I would like to continue to live to ride another day. But every time I get out on my bike, or in this car, and I'm driving one of these roads that I love to ride or drive on, there's I always meet somebody that's in the middle of the road. And so I just, I don't understand why you have to do that. And it's usually not people that are going fast. They're just, they're out here cruising around, enjoying the day. Why are you? I know that there's other people uh, you just don't care I, mean, I, don't, I don't understand it and I guess we'll keep going on this topic into into another range of it is, is people that are that are trying to impress somebody by driving crazy uh, I guess I've had this car for a couple of years now two and a half years or so and people may not know me Town, but they recognize the car, you know, because there's there's really not another one here that's a this year model and this color and what LE and all that. There's not another one. Only one. So they see it, they recognize it, they hear it, everybody knows the car's loud and having fun and all that. But when I pull up behind you and you're in your full wheel drive truck, what makes you think that you can go faster through the corners than me? I drive a truck to work every day and I understand the dynamics of that vehicle and how heavy it is and the tires it's on and just the lack of suspension and weight balance and all that stuff and I see you guys all the time and to try to go fast you're cutting the corners like I just talked about you're endangering other people you're in a 5,000 plus pound metal box trying to go 75 80 miles an hour down these little small roads with no runoff you don't have a what happens if you have to take an evasive maneuver you're going to flip the truck i pulled up on several trucks rolled over because i know they're going too fast they don't know where they're at or you know they're just going way too fast slow down if you can't stay in your lane you're going too fast or you're you've run out of driving skill one or the other or both and either one of those is putting you in that realm of killing somebody else. If you kill yourself because you run off the road and you're going fast, that's on you. I live, I live that life. And if I if I crash and it's a solo thing and I die, don't feel bad. I'm told by family and everybody else, friends and all that, hey, don't feel bad for me. I was doing what I wanted to do. And freedom and liberty is what it's all about for me. Uh, as long as I'm not endangering someone else or infringing on their right to be free, no one has, has the right to tell me what to do, and they don't have the right to tell you what to do. Um, but if you're endangering other people, then slow down. It's not worth trying to impress me because I'm not impressed. You're pissing me off. Like, it, it really pisses me off. I'm, I'm talking bad about you in my car as I see you trying to fly down the road, and you can't do it. It's not possible. You know, we're, I'm in a car that's meant for cornering, and you're in a truck that was meant for towing stuff. There's a difference. Be safe out there. Take other people's lives seriously. If you don't take your own life seriously, take other people's lives seriously. There's kids out here. You know, there's people's pets. I'm a dog guy. I love dogs. I got a cat. And I love animals. I'm not trying to kill somebody's pet. You know, I'm not trying to tear my car up either. Just be safe out there. Take it all seriously. You know, it, it's serious. And the older you get, the more you'll realize that it's serious. Things can happen. And if you're on a motorcycle, be safe. Keep your head up. There's too many dangers out there. I see groups that ride through here and there's there's crashes regularly because these guys are too close together. They're, they don't know how to run the line on a motorcycle. If you've ever ridden motorcycles, you know that they turn differently a car. You need you need a different angle. You can't run the same angle of attack that you can 
with a motorcycle that you will with a car. It's just not, it don't work that way. Uh, and you know, the small things like gravel on the road and, and grass, you know, anything, sand, can put you down if you got lean angle. Be safe. I've been down. I crashed that bike. It hurt. I hurt for a long time. It's five years later. I still hurt. I go to the chiropractor every three weeks now and you know, get a massage and an adjustment every three weeks, which I started back in March. And I feel better than I did, but hey, I still have pain every day from all that. That stuff doesn't go away. You don't have to be going 100 miles an hour to get in a bad wreck. I was going maybe 45 and got pitched off you know, in a big high side. Hey, it's painful. You're not on the racetrack. Somebody else can run you over. If there's more traffic on the road, you come off. Because I ended up in the other lane, and thankfully, there's nobody out around that time, and I didn't get run over. Uh, things happen, you know, and it, it can happen to you. It can happen to me. It happen to anybody. Take it seriously if you're into this kind of stuff. I appreciate y'all sitting around and uh, having a conversation with me today. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Help me out with the algorithm. Like and subscribe. But once again, it's pretty stupid to say that. But let me know what y'all think. Freedom and liberty and fast cars. Let me know if you know why people started modifying their cars to go fast. Let me know in the comments. Y'all have a good day.